The two-phase lockdown of Shanghai's 26 million people entered its third day on Wednesday and local authorities are now conducting massive tests to the city population. The lockdown causes residents living there to stop up on food and essentials, while authorities are working to ensure food supplies and stabilize the prices. It started with the Pudong Financial District and adjacent areas on the east side of the Huangpu River. So far, some 9.1 million people in the areas have taken mass virus tests, measures confining the residents of Pudong to their homes, closing non-essential businesses, and requiring mass testing to be lifted on Friday after four days. At that time, the more populated Puxi area on the opposite side of the river will be sealed off for five days of mass testing. Shanghai recorded almost 6,000 new COVID-19 cases on Tuesday. The lockdown causes residents living there to stock up on food and essentials while authorities work to ensure food supplies are enough and prices are stable. Families of 43 students who were kidnapped in southern Mexico in 2014 accused the armed forces of withholding information about the case. They also questioned the government's lack of progress in clarifying the events. The statement from the relatives comes after President Andres Manuel Lopez Albrador announced an investigation on the Navy chiefs who allegedly manipulated and concealed evidence following the disappearance of the Ayot Zinapa students seven years ago. The investigation had long been criticized by the families of the 43 students who disappeared in September 2014 after they were detained by local police in Iguala in the southern state of Guerrero. They were allegedly handed over to a drug gang and slain and have not been heard from since. <laughs> Nunca imaginamos que a tres años de este nuevo gobierno no tengamos todavía 